घर घर के जाना इधर उधर जाना वृंदावन से मथुरा मथुरा से यहाँ पे और अभी जनकपुरी में थे जनकपुरी से यहाँ पर आया हम सब जीवों के कल्याण के लिए क्योंकि जो शुद्ध साधु संग होता है ना जो शुद्ध साधु होते हैं वो कुछ लेने के लिए नहीं आते कुछ देने के लिए ही आते हैं कई बार हमें लगता है कि साधु संग आते हैं और हमें बहुत कड़ा आडम्बर भी करना पड़ता है कुछ भी करना पड़ता है लेकिन हमारे जो साधु संतों का जो कहना है वो कहते हैं कि सिर्फ किसी तरह से जो जीव इकट्ठे हो जाए जो मुझे देना वो हम दे लें चाहे किसी और चीज़ की अपेक्षा नहीं रहती है सिर्फ आके कीर्तन भजन करके सिर्फ जो हम देना चाहते हैं यानी जो वो शुद्ध प्रेम जो आप लोग इतने टाइम से श्रवण भी करते आ रहे हो कि जो ब्रज का एक शुद्ध प्रेम है यानी कृष्ण के सभी वशीभूत है लेकिन कृष्ण के लेकिन कृष्ण कितना ब्रज प्रेम के वशीभूत है तो वो शुद्ध जो ब्रज का प्रेम है वो ब्रजवासियों से ही मिल सकता है और कौन से ब्रजवासी जिनके हृदय में ब्रज ब्रजवास करता हो तो हमारे महाराज जी ऐसे ही हैं इनके हृदय में ब्रज प्रेम जो है वास करता है जो जिसके पास होता है वो वही तो प्रदान कर सकता है तो जो कृष्ण प्रेम जो राधा रानी अभी तो कृष्ण के बारे में ही आप लोगों ने इतना श्रवण किया है लेकिन राधा रानी के बारे में जब आप श्रवण करेंगे तो कहते हैं ऐसा अद्भुत प्रेम क्योंकि राधा रानी के जैसा अद्भुत प्रेम तो कहीं पर ना कभी देखा है ना देखा गया है और, और उनको समझ पाना तो और भी ज़्यादा दुर्लभ है तो उसी का बेस ही बनाते हैं तो कभी कहते कभी कहते साधु आते हैं हमारे ऊपर कृपा करने के लिए उनको आप लोगों से कुछ नहीं चाहिए होता ना मान ना सम्मान कुछ नहीं लेकिन कहते हैं ना कि बस आके कोई श्रवण ही करें तो जो भी महाराज जी वचन बोलेंगे या जो भी कथा करेंगे हम श्रद्धा भाव भक्ति से उनको श्रवण करके हृदय में ग्रहण कर लें और उसके ऊपर चल पड़े अगर इतने सारे लोग बैठे हुए अगर इनमें से भी कोई एक जीव हमारे तो मतलब तो वैष्णव का कहना है कि एक जीव को भी भजन में लगाने के लिए सौ गैलर खून को सड़ाना पड़ता है तब जाके चाहिए एक जीव आता है तो जैसे पहले आप लोगों ने लालच गाली दी थी कथा मैंने सुनाई थी ना कि एक जीव को वहाँ पे जाते हैं वैष्णव के तो विष्णु भगवान को कहते हैं आपके जीव इतने तड़प रहे हैं आपको दर्द नहीं होता कम से कम कुछ जीवों को तो आप बुला लो यहाँ पे कहते अच्छा ठीक है जिन नारद जी को कहते हैं तो जितने जीव आप लेकर आ जाओगे मैं सबको सीधा बन रहा है लेकिन वो क्या जाते तो पहले भी बताया था कि एक बूढ़े के पास जाते कि शायद ये तो ऊपर जाने वाला है ये जाने के लिए तैयार हो जाएगा तो वहां पर जाते तो कहते हैं कि आपको सीधा वैकुंठ मिलेगा चलो क्या आप मेरे साथ तो वो क्या कहते हैं अभी तो मैं बूढ़ा ही हुआ हूँ अभी तो बच्चा है शादी करनी है तो इस तरह से कितने कितने जन्म ले लेता है लेकिन वो वही पर ही पड़ा होता है इसका मतलब क्या है कि कोई भी इतने साधन आसानी से जो है वैकुंठ भी नहीं जाना चाहता है तो हम लोगों को विश्व में इतना आसक्त है मन कि हम लोग अपने विश्व को छोड़ने ही नहीं चाहते हमें लगता है कि विश्व ने हमें पकड़ रखा और हमने विश्व को दोनों की मजबूती है अभी यहाँ पे क्या है विश्व में भी मन आ सकता है और विश्व हम विश्व ने भी हमें पकड़ रखा है अगर हमें थोड़ा बहुत छोड़ना भी चाहे ना कि चलो साधु संत है आज कहीं पे कथा हो रही है तब तक थोड़ा तो चले जाते हैं लेकिन और आ जाते हैं कभी तो मन में ही विचार आ जाता है कि ठीक है कि नहीं अभी थोड़ा सा और रुक लो फिर चलो अभी कितना टाइम हुआ चार बजे का टाइम है ना फिर पाँच बजे भी चल जाओगी तो कोई बात नहीं लेकिन एक घंटे का जो वो मिस हो जाता है उनको पता नहीं कि क्या चीज उनका छूट जाता है इसी तरह से जो है अब जैसे हम हॉल में जाते हैं तो क्या करेंगे अगर हॉल में क्या होता है कि वहाँ की तो एडमिट मिस नहीं होनी चाहिए मतलब जरा अगर तीन बजे का टाइम है तो पौने तीन बजे पहुँच जाते हैं यानी वो एक पिक्चर इतनी इम्पोर्टेंट होती है हमारे लिए कि हम पौने तीन बजे चले जाते हैं लेकिन जहाँ पे सत सत्य संग जो सत्य से मिलाते ऐसे सतगुरु जो प्रवचन करते हैं जो कथा सुनाते हैं तो उनका एक एक पिक्चर की अगर एक निकल के कुछ था तो आप लोग क्या कहते थे यार स्टोरी नहीं समझ में आ रही है कि स्टोरी में क्या था पहले पहले स्टार्टिंग टाइम सारा सब कुछ निकल गया लेकिन यहाँ पर सत्संग गुरु ने पहला वर्ड क्या बोला यही हम बिना सुने जीत में जब आते हैं तो आधा दूधा रहता है तो हमारे हृदय में प्रवेश कर ही नहीं पाता है तो पिक्चर छूट जाए तो छूट जाए लेकिन साधु के वचन नहीं छूटने चाहिए तो ऐसी हमारी मति ऐसी प्रगति हमारे हृदय में हो और हम सत्पुरुषों का सम्मान करके उनके वचनों को ग्रह कहते हैं आज हम लोग यहाँ पे क्या करने साधु सर करने आए हैं महाराज जी का दर्शन करके कहते हैं ना क्योंकि जो सत्पुरुष होते साधु होते हैं उनको दर्शन करके हमारे हृदय जो है पवित्र हो जाता है तो इस टाइम पे और ये तो कहते हैं बोलो का जहाँ पे सत्संग होता है साधु संत बैठे होते हैं तो साक्षात ये भगवान का नाम ही कहना है आज आप लोग अपने घर पे नहीं बैठे हो साक्षात कहाँ पे बैठे हो बोलो कहाँ पे बैठे हो तो ये आपकी भावना है जो जो सोचेंगे कि हम घर पे बैठे तो आप लोग घर पे ही बैठे हो अगर सोचोगे कि हम धाम में बैठे तो आप धाम में ही बैठे हो क्योंकि भगवान और साधु बल पुरुष क्या होते हैं भाव 
तो जो भी यहाँ पे आप लोग इतने प्रेम से भजन कर रहे हो इतने प्रेम से चार बजे से आप लोग बैठे हुए हो कीर्तन भजन कर रहे हो महाराज जी का स्मरण कर रहे हो उनके सुन रहे हो तो मतलब आप लोगों के लिए भी तालियां बजाई जा सकती है क्योंकि इतनी देर इतने धैर्य के साथ मतलब आप लोग हैं कि कोई भी उनके भागाने की कहीं देर हो जाए तो आप लोगों को भी सरल हृदय सरल हृदय में ही भक्ति बात करती है तो इसलिए इन्हीं बच्चों को नहीं देखते मैं विराम देती हूँ बाकी आप लोग महाराज जी से श्रवण कीजिए हरी
I'm very happy. You have. You are regularly doing suction here, especially in Mataji. Sing about sing, kirtan about Guru Dev. We should up keep. And where is our brother? Dhruv. Dhruv. When I was five years, I've been. I'm, you know the Dhruv. You know there is one, one uh, boy here. This his son. His fa His uh, his name is Dhruv. So. So. Why have we got this human life? Tulsi Das Ji in Ramacharitma is saying this human body is very rare. Why is it said very rare? It's not Sulab means that it's very rare. It's not it's not easy like Churasi like 84 84 lakhs of other living and of other lives now we have got human body in future we whether we will get a human body or not there is no guarantee I mean you'll get human body but there is no you will get another human body if you've done Krishna bhajan. Oh, if you do Krishna bhajan, then you'll get another human body. Or in Gita, Bhagwan is saying, at the time of death, whatever we meditate on or whatever we think about, then that is what we get, that type of a body we get in our next life. Bhagwan is saying, Arjun, at the time of death, whatever you think about, that's how you will get your next body in your next life. So in Srimad Bhagavatam, Bharat Maharaj, this Katha is, have you heard of the uh, name of Bharat Maharaj? Bharat Maharaj. At the time of his death, he was thinking of a deer. And then what happened? And then he got a body of a deer. So when he left his uh, body, a human body, then the next birth he got a birth of deer, body of a deer. Why? Because he was attached to the deer. So, at the time of her death, he had this attachment to the deer and he was thinking about the deer. Then, that, that by, accordingly, you get that type of a body in your next life. So, Bharat Maharaj, he left, he left his kingdom and he went into the jungle uh, to do bhajan. And one day, he saw one deer, one female deer, uh, she came to drink water in, from the river nearby. And, the, and the, there was a lion who, who came to eat the female deer. So, she ran, she jumped into the river and uh, she... she she was expecting a baby so the baby baby and she gave birth the, uh, she gave birth she gave a birth to a baby dear so Bharat Maharaj and then the mother died and uh, you know like how we take care of a little baby we speak to the baby feed the baby you know taking care of the baby just like that Bharat Maharaj started to take care of the baby deer. So like this. So doing that, he got attachment to the baby deer. So if you take care of somebody, then you get some attachment to that person, right? So what happened? 
there was so there was one group of deers near him by his ashram and this baby deer also left with that group of deer so he climbed he started to search for this baby and he climbed on the hill on top of the hill hill on the top of the hill to search for the baby where is this baby deer and at that time the sleep the mud uh, on the hill was like very muddy and watery and slippery so he slipped and he left his body so he was thinking about the be- deer so so do you remember your previous life you know you don't remember your previous life right you don't know where you come from you don't know where you, come. you don't even know where you will be going everybody says i am going where do you have to go he said yeah we want to go to krishna oh she's going home <laughs> everybody says we have to go when you age when you are old when you are old when you are old you say oh we have to go we have to go so he says we want to go to krishna's dham now tell me what is the road she said yeah jana hai so he said we want to go to krishna dham krishna's place but we don't know the road to krishna who will so who will show you the road to uh, to krishna's abode guru mahatma guru ji will show you the road we cannot see it what does guru do guru will show us the road to krishna's place so what is the meaning of the guru gu means prakash we are living in darkness and who 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 gets rid of the darkness is gu so when you are walking in darkness you need a torch right you need light then only you can walk. so similarly guru shows the road to he will show you the road come this road to krishna as a board and some people go they take the wrong road a pure guru a pure a bona fide guru will take you to krishna who is sat guru who is a pure bona fide guru will take you to radha krishna that's why bhagwan said he said bhagwan is saying to arjun listen my dam my place my abode my place my abode is is golok vrindavan if you if you reach there then you don't have to come back you never ever come back bhagwan is saying hey arjun people go to different different places some people go to devi dam what do you have to do if you go to devi dam then you have to come back again on earth in gita bhagwan is saying if you go to the place of a boat of a devi's goddesses and demi goddesses who seen a who seen heavenly planets who seen heaven ye bas se ghar nahi hai parivar hai sab sukh shanti hai na ye is pure sandhu mein hai so so the heavenly planet what is it this happiness there sandhu kuch nahi hai there is nothing there sukh shanti there is only uh, enjoyment and uh, peace for peace swarga swarga rami swa is a place you can make heavenly heaven in this house even in the house they swarga right so i will say oh when i die i will go to heaven but actually in your own house you got heaven have you seen hell who seen hell even in the, your in your own house you can have hell 
you understand try and understand the language in your house also there is hell in your also in your house you go to heaven and hell both you got heaven and hell in your house in this house where there no sant mahatmas come in that house in the house where there is no hari katha that house is it's a narak it's a hell don't 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 feel bad what i'm saying i'm telling you the truth even the shastras have said that where there is no amrit katha of bhagwan where sant mahatma doesn't come that house is is a narak you know the house the house the snake lives in who makes the house uh, the chua 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 banate who makes the house of the snake is the rats right they make a dig and they make a like hole and then what do the snake do the snake eat the eats the rat and makes his own home so in bhagavatam say people who don't do bhajan in the house where they don't do bhajan where sant mahatma doesn't uh, come then that is like a hole of uh, that's a snake's house so where in the house where is uh, where in the house where there is a satsang going on and that house is like a golok vrindavan so look you got radha krishna so you also got krishna in your house that's why there in the house where uh, sant mahatma is coming where there is uh, radha krishna is residing that house is golok vrindavan So where is your Vrindavan? Vrindavan is in your house, Karma, in your own house. You don't need to go anywhere. In this house you got Vrindavan, where Santama Mahatma comes and there is Hari Katha is going on. Then what is it? Every Friday you have a satsang here. You have Katha on Friday. Oh, Radha Dasi. Or also name is also Radha Dasi. So every Friday, there is a program in this house, and Radha Dasi gives class. So where is this Radha Dasi? So Radha, she is also Radha Dasi, and she goes to every place and she makes everyone Radha Dasi. Here I take.
Who is going to Vrindavan? In Vrindavan, both they speak. Do they speak Krishna Krishna? Nobody says nobody speaks Krishna Krishna. They speak Radhe 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 Radhe. In Vrindavan, nobody speaks Krishna. Q. Why? Because. Even when you speak Radha's now, then Krishna is running behind Radha. And there was one wealthy man. He went to ke, go and take some. Da, he went to take darshan of Kochi. So when he entered the temple, he entered the temple. There's one. Oh, I thought they were. I would have had it. Look at me, I'm just empty. So he went to have darshan of Thakurji. So he and uh, the Pujari said, Oh, Sethji uh, has come here, so he's probably got some donation for the uh, for them. So, all the Pujaris, you know, they, they put Tilak on this wealthy man and put garland and, and a very nice mala they put around his neck. And my business is not running very well because of the uh, lockdown. Now my income has stopped. Its business is not running properly. Lost. I made a loss of a lot of money. Hey Thakurji, please give me five crore rupiah. Five crore man rupees. So he prayed to Bhagwan and then he left and he came out and there was one little boy standing there and he had one bowl and he said, Hey, hey, hey Baba. You know, like yes. So he was waiting. He was a beggar. He was poor. Sometimes he gets some money and sometimes he doesn't. So this uh, little young boy, he's saying, he's saying, Oh, said G. Baji, he said, Oh, Babuji, give me one rupee. Give me one rupee. Said he said, You're begging. Don't you work? Can't you go to work? Why are you uh, begging? Can you not find a job? Yeah, find a job. Go. So if you haven't got a job, my car, I have a car. Mercedes, Mercedes Benz. Yeah, Mercedes, BMW. BMW. I don't have a car, so I don't know the names of the cars. So I said, hey, you can clean my car. You know, you don't want to work. You can clean my car. And you're begging me. You're begging why are you bigger? Then this baby said, Babuji, give me one rupee. And Sergi again he got angry and said, Why are you begging? You know what the child said? One boy said, His boy said, Sergi, I am only a small beggar. I am only a small beggar. I'm only asking you for ah, one rupee. You are a bigger beggar. That you are a bigger. You are a 
bigger beggar the little boys are the said ji said what what you call me a beggar said ji what can i say you went in the temple in the samne what did you i only am asking you for one rupee but you are thakur ji how much did you ask for 5 crore 5 crore rupees So isn't that a, you are a bigger, bigger than me? That's why that bastard child, bo- that little boy, then saying that he disappeared. So who was the boy? Jai, the boy was. Kana, actually this is not kata. It's true story. You have probably heard this kata, but it's a true story. इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आग समथिंग फॉर भगवान वुड शुड यू आग यू आग फॉर भक्ति नाम दान नाम भक्ति मांग सो आग इफ यू गो टू ठाकुर जी एन से ठाकुर जी आई हेव डन I've done so many malas. That tomorrow, hopefully, I do more rounds. So you ask for Bhagwan from Nam. In Kali, you you don't need to ask for anything. Where do you have to get? Thakurji knows everything about you. Where you have to go? So you don't know the road. There is no road. There is no. There is no road in this Kali Yug. There is only one road. That is Nam Hari Nam. Was Nam is whatever. Whatever said. Whatever everyone says. Hari Nam. Hari Nam. Kyo Kevalam. Kalo Na Steva. Kal Steva. इन दिस कली गोट इज ओनली कृष्णा इज ओनली वन वे इन दिस कली युग हरि नाम कृष्णा हरे 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 No, no, you cannot meditate. In Kali, who who med who does meditation? They said, oh, we cannot. Our mind. So, so he said, ha, you you. So he said, but you will think about your children, right? You got children. But if you want to meditate on the Bhagwan, but then children come and disturb us. His house is right in the front of the road. <laughs> right in the front of the road. Our house is in front of the road. So so much noise comes. Motorcycle noise. In Kali Yug, in Sri Mad Bhagavatam, it says, "In Sri Mad Bhagavatam, Sukadev Goswami is saying, 'Hey Maharaj, Pariksit, listen. In Satya Yug, people used to do meditation, and the life." The, People used to live for one lakh, one lakh, and that's why also they could meditate. The mind was not restless. In tetra yuk and the life, the sajar, so ten thousand. So people used to live for ten thousand in satyu. In tetra yuk, in tetra yuk they used to do yagna. हवन हवन करते थे यू टू डू हवन स्वाहा डू सब ब्राह्मण स्पीक स्वाहा 
And the judgment, what do they say? Ah, because why so much time has passed and these three hours have been passed, we are doing this yagna. So he said, Panditji, do finish, finish this yagna quickly, I've got pain in my back. That's why the Brahman is saying swa. so the judgment is saying aha, so Brahman is saying swaha. So, aha means do it quickly. So, in Kali Yuga, so we cannot do yagna. It's not possible to do yagna. In the Dwapa Yuga, what was the lifespan of a uh, person? 10,000. 1,000. So, in the upper, the lifespan of a human being was 1,000 years. In Dwapa Yuga, what did they, they used to worship deity. In Sastra, in Dwapa Yuga, what did the humans do? They used to worship the deities. So then is it possible to worship deities in Kali Yuga? Have you got tacos in your house? Show me, tell me how you do the archan. So you start urchin, then your child will come, uh, come crying to you, and also you know you do the offering. Then little tiny ants will come, and chitti, you know, if you've done the, you've done the offering to Thakurji, and then little ants will come. So even so in Kali, uh, if even uh, worship in Kali Yuga. So, uh, so the life spent in Kali Yuga is this thousand, thousand, so hundred. So, 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 so in Kali Yuga, even hundred years, a uh, human being doesn't, life spent is not even hundred years. Hundred is too much. Ninety is also too much. Ninety. Oh, so hundred years means oh, so many years he's lived. But but in Kali you can you have so much suffering in your body. In this body. There's so many knots, joints, and every joint is hurting you, right? Cervical, spondylitis, is whether there is pain here, there is pain there, is joint pain. So how will you be able to do bhajan? That's why it's not possible to do meditate in Kali Yuga. Also not possible to do Yagna or Archan. So in Kali Yuga, so you just have to chant. The fruit of a uh, meditation and the fruit of a yagna and the fruit of a deity, you get all that fruit in Harinam. See, in this Kali Yuga, what is Bhagwan saying? But so we cannot meditate in this Kali Yuga. So do Nam Sarkirtan. There is no difference between the name and himself. So he put all his potency in the name. Even Bhagwan Ramchandra. He to pass the ocean, to cross the ocean. 
Setu, the island. He, be, he be, actually go to uh, the island and cross the ocean. And the Setu, Setu means island. Yeah, so Ramchandra Setu bridge. So he be, he made a bridge to cross to the, uh, go to the island of uh, Lanka. Ram Nam say so he he, he built a bridge so with the so listen properly first yeah, so when Ram Chandra put a stone it it, uh, it, it drowned in the ocean yeah. so when when Hanumanji put Ram on it and then threw the stone then the stone floated on the river on the ocean, Ram sorry. Lakshman, the Ram Lakshman, they just sit them. They just sat there and they were looking. When that, so, so they were making a bridge uh, with one piece of uh, stone and they put Ram name on it. And that Pathar, that would float, that stone would float. So, Pota. so yes. So Ram thought, oh, they are throwing uh, uh, stones in the in the ocean and it's floating. So Ram thought, let me do that as well. So if my if I throw if I throw a stone uh, and it will it won't float, then they will laugh at me. So. So the way there was nobody, he picked up the stone. Uh, stone. And he said, Prabhu, your Leela is amazing. La Ram Chandra said, Ram Chandra, Ram Chandra said, just speaking my name and speaking my name and the uh, stone is floating. But when I picked up the stone and threw it in the water it didn't float if you float dub jayega something you throw then that will drown right but if you have your name there is no difference between your name and yourself there is no difference between the name of Bhagwan and Bhagwan. so now so you were yes there is no difference between you and the name that's why the patar the stone is floating so so what is this so what is the purport the purport is that uh, this material life is like an ocean if you live in this material life with the ram nam then you will float don't speak Ram's name and live in this ocean of this material world, then you will drown. That's why what should we do? We should chant. We do Krishna Nam Jap. You should do Krishna Nam. In Kali, we don't need to do anything else. You stay in your house, you get up early morning, as soon as your eyes op you open your eyes, you chant Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare I say Maharaj, we are Ram Bhakta, some will, will say Hare If you are, oh I am a Bhakta, I am a devotee of Ram, then you say
वन नाता सो वन दैट मींस दैट होल्ड यू एक वन नाता इज विद अ राम यू टू टू यू टू टाइ वन नोट विद अ राम एंड देन यू टू अनटाइ द अदर नोट so he said sansari people in this material world how can untie that not in this material world oh, i said what did i say you don't leave you don't untie but tie it with ira संत महात्मा से ठाकुर जी यू नाथा मीन्स जोड़ो वोट इन यू हाउस सेवा में सो यू वोट एवर यू हैव तुलसीदास नाम इज एवरीथिंग The more you know, it changes. The more anand you will get. In Kali Yug, the other day I was speaking this katha. There was one raja. He had a lot of he had a lot of wealth. He was very wealthy, and he had four sons. How many sons you have? Bas, you have one son. Who has got four sons? Ah, you have four sons. She, that mother, she's got four sons. Oh, he's got four sons. Raja, ki kitne beta beta the? How many How many sons did this king have? Four sons. So the king thought that now I'm getting old, so I'm not going to live much now. So what I'm I want to give uh, give my wealth to my son. Who deserves it? <laughs> you, uh, you, with so much difficulty, you've earned the wealth, and uh, all the, you know, your perspiration is in every drop of your perspiration is in that wealth you've earned. So, uh, with so much effort, then, so who should you give this wealth to? You should give to, to give to the son. That's good son. In Sastra, it says, "Who should you give your wealth to? You give it to the right place." So, if somebody uses it to drink alcohol, then they will waste your money. So, the king started to think, "This wealth, who should I give? So, I'll give it to the to my good good son." So, so he said, he called the four sons and he said. I'm giving you one lakh rupees. You go away and go away for one year, and then come back to me. In one year, I want to know how much you you earn. So after one year, the older son, the eldest son came. So he said, "You gave me one lakh, and I've got, I've got. So I've come back with three." Four lakh, four lakh, one lakh you gave me, and I've earned three lakh. So then he says, okay. Second son came back, and he came. Uh, the second son came. He said, "Pitaji, father, I have take this. I have given you. I've earned two thousand. Called him and said, 'Come, come here.' So then father had tears in his ear. So he said, "Yeah, come here." So this lo, this young came. After a while, he said, "Okay, so these three brothers, your three brothers, have given me some money. So, so what have you done? I gave you one lakh. So what have you done with this one lakh?" So this youngest son was crying and said. With tears in his eyes, he said, "I dis, I spent all your money. Fifty thousand rupees, I gambling. I spent it on gambling, so I lost fifty thousand in gambling. 
So people think, oh, I will earn more in gambling, but what happens? You lose everything. And the rest of the 50,000, I, 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 I drank alcohol and I used, I misused it. Now, today, I don't even have any money left with me for food. So, by, so he started chanting Harinam. Then this, the youngest son became the most wealthy. Who was the the eldest? The eldest son was Satyug. In Satyug, by meditation, he attained God. Yagna. In Tetra Yug, people used to be Yagna. In Dwapa Yug, Archan. So in Kali Yug, Harina. In, in Kali Yug, we have fault. Human beings have fault and fault. Everyone has got fault. What qualities humans have? In Kali Yag, what is one good quality? What is one good quality is Harinam. So one good quality of Kali Yag is Harinam. So, what was this king? So, whatever wealth he had, he gave it to the youngest son because he was chanting Harinam. So, in Kali Yoga, there is nothing else other than Harinam. That's why what should everyone should do? Chant. This is the topmost name, Radha. This is the topmost name, is Radha. So Vishnu, by chanting Vishnu's name once, you get. So if you do three, ek, one. So by chanting Ram's name three times, uh, you get same by chanting Krishna's name only once. So the fruit of chanting three nam, what fruit you get by chanting Krishna's name, you get four times fruit for chanting Radha's name. That's why in our Braj, they say Radhe Radhe. Why? Who is the Satani? Who is the Satani? Who is the queen of Vrindavan? So, who is, who is, who is greater? Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the master or the mistress? The mistress is greater. Lal. But if you go for donation to the women, woman of the house, then she will give you immediately because she has got the key. Who's got the key of the safe in the house is a mother, is the wife. So when I was young, my mother used to tie the keys at the until the end of the sari. Now where do you keep the purse? <laughs> where do you keep the key? in the purse. So the lady of the house, the lady of the house is the key, not the, not the, not the man. So the lady of Rindavan is Radharani. Shri Ji Mandir. Shri Ji. Shri Ji Mahal. Shri Ji Mahal. You know the temple in Radharani. Shri Ji. Shri Ji. Shri Ji. If you go to a Radhaji, you will. Every day. In the work, Radhe 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 Radhe
Shall I tell you one? You know, when you do Krishna's bhajan, you should have tulsi mala around your neck. If you do Bhagwan's bhajan, when Bhagwan's bhajan is, if you, bhajan will happen if we follow some rules and regulation. You should wear tulsi around your neck. You got a golden neck. If you got a golden necklace and when you leave your body, what will happen to your gold? They will take your gold necklace off. So tulsi will remain, right? And that will go with you. So in your neck you should have tulsi mala. How many people are wearing tulsi mala? Even see, see our for, uh, foreigners, they are also wearing tulsi mala. She's come from England. She's come from Bolivia. Kunjeshwari is Lithuania. In a European Europe, she's come from Europe. Punjab, <laughs> Where is he come from? Brazil. He has come from Brazil. He has come from Brazil. This you are here seeing that. I go to Brazil. I go to their country and I teach them. I, I speak the same katha that we should wear. And on your forehead you should have tilak. Don't think bad. But in order to do Bhagwan's bhajan, this is necessary. If you don't put tilak and don't have a ganti mala, then, then you cannot do bhajan. I go to their countries. They have very nice, beautiful mandir. So many devotees come there. They are all foreigners. They are all Western devotees. So in Brazil, there is no Indians there. There is five temples. There is no Indians there. They are all Westerners. They are all Brazilians there. And they were all beautiful, very nice, beautiful tilak on the forehead. That's why, that's why you should come tomorrow. You stay in the house, wherever you go. Wherever you go, put tilak on. When you come to, for, okay, when you come to Thakoji, you should have tilak, you should wear tilak. There, there are devotees who are doctors, who are dentists. And they wear tilak. And you live in India and you don't wear tilak? So you should wear tilak and you should wear tulsi beads around your neck. Make your house, make your house a mandir, make your house a temple. Vrindavan, where is Vrindavan? I say Vrindavan is in your house. Who lives in Vrindavan? Rani. Who lives in Vrindavan? Radha Rani. Not many Santamatmas Sant stay in Vrindavan. All the grass, the householders live in Vrindavan. What do the Grihastha do? They serve. All the trees in Vrindavan, they are men. All the Latha, all the creepers, what are they? They are female, these wives. In the Vrindavan, the flower, the fruit, the flower is a daughter's and the fruit is the son. Then that house is... And that house is happiness, her husband, wife, son and daughter, all of them do bhajan. And they do nam bhajan. Then Graha is not the house, it becomes Golok Vrindavan. So we make this house, make this house Golok Vrindavan. See, she's got really nice mala. Radhaji has got beautiful mala. So that's why Radha Namaz. What is bhajan? Bhajan is slowly, slowly. What you do? Do naam. Then you follow the rules. On your forehead, wear the tilak. And wear tulsi mala and chant. 
मेरे को माला माला बीज हनुमान जी क्या करते हैं वो डस हनुमान जी डू हनुमान जी क्या नाम जब करते हैं हनुमान जी जब चेंज राम नाम सारी अम्मा में भगवान हनुमान जी क्या नाम लिखा राम ओनी इस बॉडी बॉडी सी रूटन राम नाम राम नेम ऑफ राम इधर में बैठा ही है इवन इन इस हार्ट इन द हार्ट ठाकुर जी सिट इन द सी शी इज वेरी इन तुलसी माला एंड शी इज गोट वेरी नाइस टेलर एंड शी इज ऑल्सो चेंट इन बीज सो यू शुड कीप दैट यू शुड कीर्तन तो बहुत सुंदर है कीर्तन इज ब्यूटीफुल है इसमें धीरे-धीरे धीरे-धीरे आप लोग बुराई बुरा मत मानिए डोंट फील बैड संत महात्मा आते पीछे भी व्हाई डू संत महात्मा कम टू यू टू शो यू द पाथ शो यू द रोड टू शो यू द रोड महात्मा क्या करते हैं What do the guru? They show us the road. Rasta dikha de, bhai dekho. Dekho, he says tell where to see mala. Aur gharat par kya rakho? On your forehead, where to look? Aur hath mein kya rakho? In your hand, have japa mala. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. How many heads do Shiv Ji have? Shiv Ji ke naam hai kya? Panchan. 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 Another name for Shiv Ji. One name of Shiv Ji is called Panchan. Means five. Panchan hai. Panchan means five heads. Shiv Ji kya karte? Five mouth mein kya karte? Oh, from his five mouths, what he's saying? He's chanting Ram Nam. Shiv Ji kya karte? Shiv Ji is what is he doing? Shiv Ji is chanting Ram Nam. How many heads do Brahma ji have? Sorry, not four. What is he doing? Chanting. What is Brahma ji chanting? Brahma ji is chanting Krishna's name for four months. Okay. राम नाम राम राम ब्रह्मा शिवा जी जितने देव देव ब्रह्मा इन शिव जी इन ऑल द डेमी गॉड्स इन द गॉडेसेस दे आर ऑल चेंटिंग भगवान के नाम अपने महिमा बता सकते ये गणेश जी के पूजा करते हैं ना लोग यू नो पीपल डू गणेश जी पूजा फर्स्ट व्हाई व्हाई डू दे डू गणेश जी पूजा एक बार वंस नारद जी ऋषि अनाउंस्ड जो सारे ब्रह्मांड के इन द ब्रह्मांड उसके पूजा हुएवर डू सो हुएवर डज द परिक्रमा ऑफ द होल ब्रह्मांड दे विल वी विल वर्शिप दैट दैट विल डू द पूजा सो ऑल द डेमी गॉड्स दे स्टार्टेड टू डू परिक्रमा इन देयर ओन ऑन देयर ऑन देयर व्हीकल्स सो शिव जी इज व्हीकल इज नंदी सो नंदिनी ओ नंदी कोई शेरी वाले हैं सो कोई हाथी पर बैठे सो सम डेमी गोड सेट ऑन द लायन सम डेप सेट ऑन हाथी एलिफेंट एंड दे स्टार्टेड टू डू परिक्रम सो इन गणेश से बहुत इस गणेश इस गणेश इस व्हीकल इज अ चुआ रेड एंड गणेश गणेश इज आल्सो बिग बॉडी एंड द रोड रेड इज अ स्मॉल बॉडी so what does red do? and red red spoke so small uh, slowly slowly so naraji said so all the devtas they have gone on the parikrama with their vehicles but you have, even the kartik has gone on the on the peacock some went on the swan some had swan so ganesh ji would tell ganesh ji so Ganesh says even I even thousands of life I still not be able to do this parikram. So Narad Ji said don't worry. I will I do one thing. You write down Krishna name. You write down Krishna name and Ram name. And you do parikrama of that Krishna's name three times. So he did parikrama three times. And then he sat down on the singasan. She thought, oh, then he was sitting on the singasan. And so when the demigods they came and they said, oh, how come Ganesh she is sitting on the singasan? So, so he said, oh, you only did parikrama once. Ganesh has done parikrama all three times. 
How? Because he did Bhagwat Nam. Bhagwan hai. So he did Parikrama of Bhagwan. Yes. And then, so Krishna name is same as Bhagwan himself. In the mother was mother mother Jashoda. So the whole universe in uh, Gopal's mouth when 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 Gopal yawned. When he yawned, he yawned and he opened his mouth, Mother Jashoda saw not one universe, but not one universe, but he saw millions of universe. So all the Brahman is in Krishna, in Bhagwan. Kal Bhushandi, she went into Ram's head and he saw all these universes in Ram. So there is no difference between Bhagwan and Bhagwan's name. That's why Naraji said, Naraji announced that you should do puja of Ganesh Ji first because he's done the Parikrama. And he, Parikrama. So when you get up in the morning, you should do parikrama of Bhagwan. Thakurji's parikrama. You chant Bhagwan's name. Just by chanting Nam. Just by chanting. By Nam, that's why they worship Ganesh. What you do is you just to chant, chant Bhagwan's name. If your shop is not running, then you start chanting Ram and chant Krishna's name and chant with faith, then you see your business will start running. If your son or your daughter is not getting married, then you just chant Bhagwan's name. Everything is in Bhagwan's name. Why am I saying this? Then in the house where Bhagwan stays, that is not a house, it is Golok Vrindavan. So your house has become Golok Vrindavan. Jai 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 Shri Rade. That's why you change Bhagwan's name and do Pacha. You do Kirtan. You have to follow Vidhi Mark. So when you go to school, full the regulations. You have to follow the rules and regulations of a school. So you have to wear a uniform. You have to wear a school uniform. You have to wear a uniform. So similarly, when you do Bhagwan's bhajan, you should follow rules and regulations. Change names. Tulsi mala, put tilak on your forehead. And wait. Tulsi mala. Yari. They have a program here every Friday. So she's just announcing to say if you if anybody wants to do a house program then he can speak to Nisha Diti.
तो जो भी लोग हरिनाम लेना चाहते हैं माला लेना चाहते हैं तो ले सकते हैं कम से कम जब करना तो शुरू कीजिए आगे ठाकुर जी देखेंगे very like big fortune that gurudev has uh, come to my house i am very new to bhakti i just want to darshan of the path that please that i want to i want to have darshan of prabhu ji so please come. Thank you. 